Okay, and so today on Building the Greek Parthenon, we are going to look at Pythagoras' theorem. And Pythagoras' theorem basically says that the, in a right angle triangle, the longest side, the square of it, is equal to the sum of the squares of the opposite two sides. So we can see very neatly here, 5 squared is 25, six, 4 squared is 16, and 3 squared is 9. So 16 plus 9 is equal to 25. So basically that's the longest side squared is equal to the squares of the sum of the opposite two sides. Okay, so that's Pythagoras' theorem. Okay, so as I said, we're going to split our proof into two parts, okay? So the first bit that we're going to look at working out is working out AB squared. So we're going to take this side of the small triangle and our original triangle. And we're going to compare the two of those and see what we can. So well here, first of all, I can say that um, angle ABC is equal to angle a d c why because they're both 90 degrees okay so they're both 90 degrees okay the other thing that i could say about them is that angle b a c so this angle here um b a c well that's also it's equal to angle b a d okay uh clearly because again they're the exact same angle angle b a d okay so it's a common angle so now if that's true which we can see that it is that means that i have got two similar triangles here okay so i can say that ang that triangle okay so triangle a b c this first triangle and the second triangle because these are in common this means that these two triangles are similar okay it means that here we have the right angle here with the right angle this angle is the same and this angle is the same so because of that we can um, with similar triangles we can say that sides are proportional so if for example I'm going to take here I want to work on this a b squared so I'm going to use one side here the short side and I'm going to have the long side. So for example here, the long side, the hypotenuse of this side, and I'll do these ones in purple from the big triangle just to make it clear to us. So AC, the longest side, divided by AB, the shortest side. So I'm going to put those equal. Now to here, well the longest side in this one is AB, and the shortest side is AD. So I'm just going to put those equal to each other. Okay, so that gives me this statement here that AC over AB is equal to AB over AD. So now all I'm going to do is tidy that up and I'm going to cross multiply. So that's going to give me... Okay, and so as I've cross multiplied, well then AC times AD is equal to AB times AB. And then again, just further in tidying that up. Okay, and so that's going to give me the um, answer here. AC times AD is equal to AB squared. Okay, so all I've done is just um, shorthanded this. Okay, so that's the end of the first part. And now we're going to do the exact same process with the other two triangles, the main triangle and this other side of this triangle here. Okay? Okay, so now we're going to repeat the exact same process as before, except this time we're going to take the main triangle with the second, the bigger triangle of, of these two here. Okay, so this time we can say, well, angle ABC is equal to angle BDC. We can see that very clearly. They're both 90 degrees. They're both right angles. The other thing that we can say as well is that angle ACB, this angle here, is equal to angle DCB. Why? They're the exact same angle, aren't they? They're a common angle. So that means then that this triangle 
and this triangle are similar and that's again that's because of our construction here okay and so we want to prove so we've already concentrated on the ab squared here so we want to look at the bc squared here so again we're going to do the same thing here well we know we have our longest side in common our hypotenuse side so here and here that's a bc here and we've taken the shortest sides before so we're going to take the alternate ones now the middle ones so here that's the middle length there and this one here is the middle length here so here dividing my hypotenuse by my middle length well that's going to give me ac over bc this time and here dividing my hypotenuse um, so I have BC and I'm going to divide it by the middle length over DC. So that gives me this sentence here, which says that AC over BC is um, equal to BC over DC. OK, so that's and again, cross multiplying. So I'm going to have AC times DC is equal to BC times BC. So exact same as before. And then again, tidying that up um, so that I get my BC squared, I'm going to have AC times DC is equal to BC squared. And so that's, again, that's another step in the process. And again, I'm going to put a red box around that. And I'm going to now bring those two equations together. So again here, reminding ourselves that we want to prove that AC squared is equal to AB squared plus BC squared. Well, here we have our equation from the first step and here we have our equation from the second step. So I can see, well, this part and this part. Well, maybe I'm going to add these two equations and see what that does. So here, if I have this part first, um, I'm going to do that and I'm going to add it with the... So adding the two left-hand sides of the equations gives me, so that's going to give me here AC plus AD is equal to AC times DC, sorry, AC times AD plus AC times DC. Well, that's going to give me AB squared plus B squared here. So we're starting to see that we're nearly there now. We just need to tidy up over here a little bit. And I can see here, that I can factorize here already. So if I look here, I have AC there and I have an AC there. So I'm going to be able to factorize here. So factorizing there gives me AC bracket AD plus DC, which is still equal to our right hand side of the equation. Now, if we go back to our diagram with our construction, so looking here at my diagram, I can see AD plus DC, well, that's equal to all of AC. So here I'm going to have, okay, and so now we're very, very nearly there. So AC times AC, well, that's very simply AC squared, which is equal to AB squared plus BC squared. So we are actually finished. So that's it rewritten. We're drawing a red box around it and again writing our Q E D. Okay, so make sure that you have the video paused at various points in order to get all of that down. But very easy, we can see that just by doing that simple construction here uh, with the original triangle and then breaking it into two different parts, two different steps, and then bringing it together again at the end, we have proven that the longest side squared, the side opposite the AC, the longest side squared opposite the original. Uh, right angle is equal to this side squared plus this side squared and that's Pythagoras' theorem proved.